Greetings and welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. Yes, I know it's a bit of a jump, but it, you know, from a non-fight moment to into a fight. Hey, look at the little uh, chimera in the background. But essentially, I had to do a bit of a jump, but we're in the Galapolis, uh, Galapolis region. Yeah, I'm just going to keep calling it that because it's easier to remember Galapolis than Galapolis. Galapopolis. Nippalipakabalabakibalabakabalabapalis. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I wanted to heal Veronica. Alright. Oh. So we're just straight up fighting. Okay. Sorry, I've been a little bit in between the uh, sessions. Oh. I wish I knew the enemy could do that. Heal Veronica. Ooh. Ring of Rack is ruined. Let's check this out. Main character of Veronica. That's actually pretty fucking cool. Critical spell chance. So, it's basically like, okay, you have a chance of critical hitting with a spell. Eh, not too fancy with that. Especially since there's like only one person who can really use any magic right now. You, know, you need to die. Critical spell. Ooh, so that's what it is. Ah, uh, really? Don't worry. Well, at the very least, it's less I have to worry about healing right now. See, more of those supplicants would be very, very good right now. Items. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to do that. Alright, he's healed. Use single file on him. Spots. Really, back over here? Well, I have been away from the game for a little while, so let's get another piece of Witherwood. Sparkly spots. Uh, just straight up run down. Hey, brownies. Right this way. Fuck you, Chimera. We're gonna kick your ass this time. <laughs> I stand corrected. This is gonna be a fight. Um. Well, shit on a shingle. That's re it's really gonna hurt. Are, are you seriously all... Oh, 
I call a bit of bullshit on that one. Watch, this is the one time I end up fucking dying. They get another game over with four team members. Let's try the Camara the cattle prod on the Camara. Nope, it's like absolute fucking pathetic amount. Yeah, I'm gonna get knocked out because I just wanted to gang up on the one main character immediately. wiped out. Yep. Great. This might be my level grinding video because I have no other fucking choice now. Yeah. Straight up. I can't run. Of course, it doesn't help that I had literally no fucking mana. <sighs> Auto save. Galapagos region, yes. Would have helped if I had a good bit of mana still. But no, my mana reserves were completely gone. How about I just rush to the fucking town real quick? We'll get our level grinding done in this video, but first off, let's get some fucking progress. I just, no, after that, no. I want to get this done over with before I even think about fighting these things. Because well, the instant I start fighting, I'm fighting everything. I gotta start checking the household for the red books, by the way. I, I, I completely forgot that that was a thing to get more recipes. Because now I'm thinking, okay, how many recipes did I miss? Alright, I see girl. I saw a girl with a bunny outfit, so it makes me wonder how many chicks with tickle bitties they got here. Doubt it. Mm. Yes, of course. Galopolis is the kingdom of the desert knights, isn't it? And of the racetrack where they love to compete. Oh, I, I remember reading town about this. In time for the horse racing festival. Well, you go play with ponies if you like. I'm off to look for the Ingrisson branch. That. Mr. Moody, no fun. Go off on his own if he wants. There's nothing to stop us having a little look around while we're here. Alright, first off. In. Like, now. Lamp posts, wizard staves, and tricky turbans. Fizzle retarded blouses and pairs of enchantress's gloves. Wow, that was a lot of stuff. All right. Uh, info. Fun size forge. Armor. All. Can't be crafted. Tricky turban. Cotton top, dune berry, and auspicious.
Cotton top. Okay, Oasis Water and Narcissus. Oh, dude, a lamplight? Yo, I could actually get that. I just need to go back and kill those little uh, lamplings or whatever the hell they are. I might actually go out of my way to get that. Doomberry, and that's it. Damn. Alright, well, what we need to do is we need to heal, like, now. If I remember correctly, like, it was in the first areas where they had all that stuff. Now, what the hell are you? Oh, bank! Pretty cute lady they went with for that. Alright, let's go upstairs. See what I can get. Hmm. Turban, turban. Uh, just pure defense. Yeah, that would be nice. I got a good amount of cash. Um, let's see what items the item shop has. Ooh, straight up gold bracer. Let's go to Hoto then. I should have kept the lamp lights. Damn it. Alright, let's go to Hoto then and then let's see if we can find some books in some certain areas because I could I did not I completely forgot that you do that to get recipes. Bookshelves of any kind, bookshelves, 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 any bookshelves. No. Y'all got any bookshelves in here? No. Okay, plain clothes again. Nothing. Okay, there's got to be a bookshelf around here somewhere. Alright, item store. Yo, did you have any bookshelves around here? Huh. Alright, anyways. Nope, um... Right, let's check out the random houses to help it. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to invade y'all's privacy because I want to see if I can get some more alchemy recipes or fun forge recipes. Plus, it doesn't help to find some extra items too. Spool of flaxen thread. There we go. Tetsu the Smith. Part one, a dream is born. 48 years old, I'm a blacksmith. The morning, this morning I sat, an amazing coin I spied. Wonder the mini metal. Let's leave Hodo and find the coin's creator and learn how it was made. Enough fear, mother, I shall return a hero, a smith without fear. Okay, the mini metal stuff. Okay, that's always been a thing in all the Dragon Quest games. I'm just wondering how they're going to allocate it this time. 
wells don't give you anything anymore, I assume. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Speaking of mini metals. Literally just a giant forge. Wish I could use it. Just to make anything and everything. But eh, oh well. Um What's going here? We got a bookshelf. Okay, what the hell do you sell? You sell the slime earrings, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, yeah, okay, I just run into it and I destroy it. Alright, um... For a second there, that looked like it was frozen. I'm just like, yo, that's some pretty ice gra- That's some very pretty ice graphics. Alright, let's keep looking around. Nico Shrine, huh? I didn't check this out, so let's look. Hmm. Very pretty woman. At least if they choose to worship somebody, they choose to worship somebody who's very pretty. <laughs> Ryu. Or Ryu, but let's not beat around the bush. It's Ryu. I'll take this. Put stuff down there. Oh, yeah. Perfectionist pearls? Hell yes. never hurts to look around. After I get done with looking around down here, I'll just teleport and look around somewhere else. Huh. A little bit of lore there. How's it going? Hey! Hey! Listen! Okay, cotton top. Mm. I want to say that's pretty much it. Just let me check out one more spot and then I'll teleport back to Galapolis. Galapolis. Kipalabalapagis. Shibalakopolis. Lord Galapolis. Anyways. I would go to Mount Fuji again, but I don't think there's any means of me being able to continue that, like, area at all for a little while. Alright, let's go in here and see if you guys got a bookshelf. I really doubt it, and I feel like I might have checked in here already. Nope. What do we got? Tale of Miko and Ryu. Deck is a village, scourge with monsters, foul creep is attacked, and numbers are beyond counting. They drove them all back. If there was one beast, the dragon of the mountain, they could not suppress. But at last success, the dragon was defeated, though at what cost. Ryu was lost to a slain by foul Tatsu Tatsunaga. Never forget him. Huh. Okay. So the one lady fought alongside her son, and her son died. Huh. Okay. 
Alright, uh, first off, let me see something. Uh, there's a good rooftop. Let's get this done and over with. Ah, okay, well normally there's a cutscene where it's like you hear a boom. Huh. Okay, so when Serena's pepped up. Alright. For every skill point unassigned, it'll cost me 20 gold coins. Sounds a little fucking expensive. And then the bolting for battle. I can't even I can't even fathom that one. There's no physical way I can even, like... Shit, what's running away? That's it in a nutshell. Oh, the circus! Do we get the entertainer dude in this, Matt? On this... In this area? Oh, that'd be nice. Alright, first off... The save. Then we're just gonna go back outside and just fucking slaughter. Uh, first off, we're gonna see what we can get. Yes, I'm gonna rob you. Traveler's Hood. Hmm. Hold on. He can equip it? Let me guess. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, it's an accessory. And it does do it does have a little bit more defense than Gemma's charm, so Angel Bell. I wasn't expecting to be able to jump up here, so. Could consider me a little surprised. Angel Bell, Angel Bell. What the hell is the Angel Bell? Oh, here's an ally of confusion. Okay. Let's get ahead and back out. What the hell are you arguing about? Charuk. If I remember correctly, from what I read online about different things that they've that they've uh, gotten from interviewing the people that made this game, the developers. This is where you have to, like, do a favor for a royal individual because they're like a chicken shit or something. And you have to ride in the race for them. And then, like, I guess, like, some giant-ass scorpion monster is going to attack the place or something. This is the only thing I know. And ironically enough, it's like when I already have four people and probably I'm about to have five people in my party. So, I'm just in the category of like, okay, well, I'm not really going to continue the story right now until I've leveled up a little bit more. Now, what's this? I know this has got to be recipes. What is it? Wanderers No More, the, Gala the Galap Galapolitan Circus. I don't know what driver expect to live above. The antenna troops finally arrived at the Great Kingdom of Galap uh, Galapolis. The people were so warm. Uh, Galapolis, there we go. And it's enthusiastic that the Sultan himself suggests we stay. Alright. So the dude, so essentially in a nutshell, they were a traveling circus. They came here, the dude was just like, hey, stay here, we don't mind. And then they just were like, oh, hey, cool, somebody wanted to stay here, wants, to, wants us to stay here, so we stay here. Deadly denizens of the celestial sands. Oh, this ferocious monster is fed, okay. Spitzfire. Naturally, an eternal beast that spends the daylight hours asleep. Thankfully, should you ever be unfortunate enough to happen upon one, take care of 
He's not the wicked. Nomus Arthropod has three slings. Many brave dolphin. Slayer of the Sands is probably what I'm going to be fighting. Cactolato. Swims with some of the water. Tracks very with the scent. That's like Cactopods. He's seen and lived. Huh. Okay. Might be fighting all of those. I am getting a shit ton of ra wayfarers and plague clothes. It's like, I really hope I can start using these later. Alright, we're gonna go through and just pilfer everybody's stuff. Uh, there's here, then there's one way over there. Let's check out nearby quests. Okay. Okay. Cook and painter. All right. Cool. Seems like that exotic town that's got all kinds of fancy shit. Guardians of the Star. Names a gallant man who set first out of here. He's our guardian of the star. Six to summarize the descendants went on to become the current role in the Galapagos. Got enough for sure. The source man and the title. Huh. So it's just a little bit of lore on the area. Okay. 70 gold coins. Nice. Thank God they don't throw at you like, hey, you're stealing. Because <laughs> I totally fucking am. First off. Single vial. Seem worthy immortalized by my hand. Paint a mighty, magnificent conflict unfolding in the desert. Alas, the sands have yet to oblige me to so. The yeah, setting is perfect. There's plenty of spits fires. Of course, conflict, cataclysmic, conflict, chaotic conflict. Such a wild side. Huh? Wild side pep to defeat a Spitzfire. Um, okay. You give me a book that allows me to make more stuff, so. Okay. Okay. Let me see who the hell I need to do that with. Okay. Attributes. Wild side. I need all three of them. Shit. Well, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. We're going to have to straight up defend with everybody until they end up getting pepped. And pray to God they all get pepped around the same time. This decoration door, huh? Locked door. See, there's a reason for this. I know that. Hmm. Sorry, I just like looking at her. Hello. So I need you to I need to defeat a golden globe and collect a golden globule. Okay, cacti ball. Alright, so those guys are in here. All right. Well, I need to level. I need to level grind my ass off anyway. So this is a good thing to go with. Yo, for a second there, I, I, I could swear to God, I'm like, yo, do you look familiar? Ooh, look at these lovely ladies.
Damn, I'm not gonna lie, they make sure these they make sure some of these women have some big bitties. Anyways, it's never a bad thing. Never bitch about some tick old bitties. You never bitch about them. Why? Because they're tick old bitties and they're nice. Alright. Now, I need to find and kill a bunch of cacti balls, and then I need to go and kill the um, lamp, whatever the hell they are, is at night time. So, sparkly spots. Son of a bitchy chimera. Kill the chimeras first. Come on, can we kill the damn thing so that way I can, like, hopefully get away with fucking using the damn... Ah, god damn it, what the hell am I trying to say here? I gotta use the pep power to kill something at nighttime, and I don't want to waste it. Thank you, Seth. Okay, now we gotta run to the nearby camp. Your next thing is dual wielding, so you still have like 11 more points to go. Alright, I'll take this. Alright, this is going to be a little bit of a jaunt, but I need to do this so that I can get it at night time. So that I can get this fucking quest done. Yeah, there's the cacti balls. Nice. Battle whip, silver platter, bronze shield, feather cap turban, bunny ears. Hmm.
Ooh. Hold on, what was it that I needed for certain recipes? I needed an auspicious for something. I'm trying to find out what the hell it was. No, oh, that's the lighter cloth. Auspicious and oasis water. Let me see. Well, you got an auspicious. Look around here. I can make a feathered cap, but I'm not going to. Enchantress gloves. Oh, I need a doomberry for that. I might as well see if I can if I can buy that from the one guy. First off. Go until night time. We're gonna go at night time just to get this fucking quest done. I doubt you're the thing I'm trying to do this with. Expecting like some floating lamp monsters or some shits. All right, let's try you. Don't know what the hell you are, but let's find out. the digitator. Fuck it. Let's at least get to see it because the main characters was about to run out. Cool! Cool! Ooh! That is actually pretty fucking awesome. Damn, dude. 
else wants some? It's fire. Okay, so I guess I gotta head up to those like Stonehenge looking ruins up to the top on the map. Alright, if we're gonna do anything, let's get the cactus ball one out of the way, then we'll do the Spitzfire one. <sighs> yeah, a good portion of these videos are gonna be like a little bit of progress, a bunch of fighting, and a and a bunch of, um, a bunch of side quests, that's it. I'll worry about killing y'all another time. Cactival. Let's just head back here. I didn't want to defend. Maybe I did want to defend. That's getting fucking old. Every time I try to just fucking do something, I end up getting one person knocked out of the fight. That's getting really fucking old. Revive, then rest again. Oh, so the main character is the only one that does revive. Yeah, let's just rest to get this out of the fucking way. Actually, you know what? Let me do something real quick. I'm gonna upgrade everybody's shit real quick. No. Rework an item. Yeah, we're gonna rework Veronica's staff. We're gonna try to make it hit that much harder.
There, maybe her magic's gonna hurt that much more. Not Del, can I make anything? Just doing it for a perfectionist orb now. Or perfectionist pearls. Alright, feather cab level three, and I might actually just redo I might I might just redo Serena's tree, because I mean she's not really doing that much damage. Rectification. to the bargain, huh? Hmm. It's a mad MP game, like nobody's business, alright. Alma Mater. Avoid instant death attacks when their HP is at half or higher. Nice. Snack, crackle, poof. The sparkles protect a single mem party member from status ailments. Nice. The magic, magical mending. Item, Serena. We're gonna rework your wand. Yes. I wanted to be better simply because of the fact that I need a healer. And I need a healer that can fucking survive. Perfect. Literally, perfection. That thing's gonna be plus three. There we go. Now let's see a comparison. One point more damage. Her magical mending takes a fucking dive, though. So, I mean, her healing alone is probably what's gonna be what just makes me keep her wielding that. Because I'm not ashamed to admit, that's the main thing I need. I need fucking healing. And I need her to be able to survive very well. Plus, let's not beat around the bush. My main character is the one that seems to be just bleh, 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 just drop the fuck dead. Everybody's healed, so let's get the hell out of here. Wait, actually, no. 
Let's rest. Daytime. We're doing the Cactival one first. Then we're going to do the lamp, the Spitzfire one. Fucking Cactival. Oh yeah, Veronica's like one level away, so that's good. <sighs> God, these things are fucking irritating. does raise his chance of blocking the attack. Get you way the hell over here. Don't worry, I'm here to help. God, I would love it if she had the fucking spell zing. At this particular point, that would make this so much better. That, or maybe just a tad bit more damage from fucking Eric or something. Just something to give me a little bit more of a leeway on these assholes, because all of a sudden I'm just getting fucking nuked again. So let's go back to the fucking statue. Considering that was Veronica's level that just got fucking pissed away. Resurrection. Revive, Revo revive Veronica. There. Ver revive Veronica. There you go. Poof. Hey, she's alive.
There's the Golden Globe. That's what I need to kill. This is what I need you to do. I need you to focus on this thing and kill it. I need you to get back here. Frizz, focus on the Golden Globe. It needs to die. Oh, yeah, like, just straight up, no fucking chance. No. gotta stop here and how the hell how much health does this fucking thing have <sighs> all right let me stand right back to the cat right by the cactus ball all right if you guys are enjoying the video leave a like comment subscribe tell your friends spread the word and yeah let's hopefully kill this damn thing and not get knocked out anyways see you in the next video and fairly well bye